the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all, Karja. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. We don't want to know what they were doing. May the sun light your way. How long do we have to wait here? There's a guard in the last game. Barker What's going on here? Olin's in there, somewhere. And so's Erend, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Erend said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the vanguard. If this keeps up, I'll be broken a month. City's it's locked down. The the Good luck getting through, Outlander. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drink's on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> She's special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Then stop feeling sorry for yourself and live up to her example. So much for a shoulder to cry on. Everybody loses people they care about. Tears don't change that. Don't worry. Any tears I had just froze up. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. So many people here, all talking at once. 
How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That must be the spire. That girl. It's Is huge. She? And Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. How long will Abad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <coughs> oh, that was subtle. Here we are, try not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. like a picture of Owen's family. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it. Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Hey girl, you're wasting time. A lot of metal here. Could be just what I need. Looks big and heavy. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? his wife and child captive they who's they the killers they told him to obey or they'd kill his family looks like Olin kept a journal Olin I knew he could read contracts but I never took him for a poet no doubt now Olin knew I was targeted.
The map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses, too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait! If that device lets you see the Unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. Come on over here and have a word. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. You know, maybe she thought that... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some Shadow Karja cowards. It was an ambush. The Shadow Karja are animals. They, they beat her so bad, we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erend. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry, too. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No, but it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us, and Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me.
Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. Almost there. All right, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. There must be Shadow Karja armor. I need to find the bastards that did this. Shadow Karja spear. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. Strange. Not a scratch on it. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Why fake an ambush? There's more to this, and we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Found them! Over here! <laughs> Take the fight! <laughs> Get eyes on him! Oh, what's that? I think it's calling in machines. Get ready. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that 
second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Those rocks, they're shattered. These look like vanguard weapons. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. There's no blood on them. Ursus men didn't fight back. What are those leather straps? Armor straps, cut with a knife, and a rock with blood on it. blood. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but it must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory, but it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, th that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you. The machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Asheram gets special treatment, and now outlanders what from the savage interests of the Sun King haven't heard. Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. 
I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseron. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad, let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at fifty paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem very complicated. 
The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. Aloy, how can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. You were right about Avad. He seems... genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him... to his enemies. It was the best I could do... for the Sundom. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. So they say. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Asaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osram are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? Who hate Ursa so? More than one? Not likely. Durval? Quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. I have to go. Then you must.
must be Pitchcliff. Murad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. No sign of Murad's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Here's what I don't get about the sundown. All these fancy decorations everywhere. It's downright embarrassing. Uh, no time to chat. I've got bills to pay and shipments to move. Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. Durval's men. It's about to get over. I hope so. Intruders! Unleash the machines! Shoot their chains!
This one's yours. Person must be around here somewhere. Let's find her. Nerva says you gotta eat dirt. through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Aaron? Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> no. Now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. 
I won't let you down. I promise. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. You've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll... Uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Durval's records, maybe. This machine's been picked apart with precision. Such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. Just notes about crafting. Oh, and a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, help what's Durval learned from all his tinkering. Do I even want to know? What happens when I turn it on? I think I've got it working. There. Now, say something. Both of you doves. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want. I, I just want to hear your voice and keep it for later. I'll sing, Papa. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> there. A song and a laugh. Even better than words. And now I can hear them whenever I want. We're done then? Off to bed with you. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. Is she gone? What are we going to do? The raids are getting closer and closer to Main Spring. How much longer can we hide like this? A keepsake from his family. Derval's got nothing left to lose. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Down. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy, I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Erend, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, 
Those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you! Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's gotta be a way to stop it. It looks like a wooden bracket, not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Boot tracks, with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reasonable Hurry share? Up. A Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! Marissa thought herself impervious to attack, but those damn shadow... Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Today. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts? <sighs> the 
This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. You're starting to irritate me. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! Majestic, murderous glint hawks. Ah, those majestic, murderous glint hawks. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you.
As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Erend, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth, without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa... you know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel... how I felt... about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osiram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now... He'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osiram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Well, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Ha ha! 
It's funny to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh. You think that bit of scrap on your brow makes you smart? I'll bet you couldn't have taken apart my arm without it. Think I'm done? <laughs> think again. I've gotten out of worse scrapes. While the lunkheads in Mainspring dither over how to kill me, I'll dig myself out. Just you wait. When I get out of here, I'm gonna plant a thunder drop. Don't let your guard down. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and... We'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean... Less chit-chat. More drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. <laughs> Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. will destroy us all! They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were taken. Ah! 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 My ah! It's not working. Search the area. We may have intruders. You've come a long way since the Citadel, Aloy. You? What have you done? I've disabled their focuses, which is very helpful to you. But I don't know for how long. If I were you, I'd act quickly. Who are you?
close. Norco, this. Kill her! No! You had your chance. I promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard just once when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold. Awful jangle, it scrapes your bones, it hollows your guts. A metal sound, but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. He is. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Asuram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. If only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. 
I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest. But then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I tried, they would have killed my family. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today they call Corruptors, but there are others. Much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your dead. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. You'll have to show me how you do that trick one day. Aloy, you're a woman of your word. Olin. Your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes. The farmstead just beyond these rocks. I'll take you. That's it. Nestled against the spurflints. Best not to think about the previous owners. <sighs> Too late. So this is it. I can't bear being so close, and yet... It's almost over. How many Eclipse are we talking? From what I've seen, a fair few. Well-armed and armored. Bowmen watching from the ridges. But there's no space for their machine demons. You've been watching for a while? What's the best way in? You think if I had a head for strategy, either of us would be in this mess? Fair point. We could storm the front gate, Asram style, or take it from the sides, or the ridge above. Maybe you could get on the rooftops. Not me. I'm too heavy cast. Should I do this alone? I don't doubt you could. But with the Eclipse, there's always another blade at your back. 
So I'll watch yours if you let me. Let's go. You have my steel. Good meat. Look out! You will not. You were in my way! This has to be where they're holding Olin's family. Bolted. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, my wife, my child. Aloy. I owe you three debts deep. Thank the sun. You found us. I found someone who had the courage I hoped for in myself. It's she who deserves your gratitude. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. And others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood, too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Olin. But Helis, and his demons. I am honor-bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dysa like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do. <laughs> 